Okay, so I got Mass Effect 2 in a recent Humble Bundle, but I thought I'd play the first one first to keep things in order. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And uh, I really do love the Mass Effect series. I haven't played it in a while, so I thought I'd play it again. Well, last time I played it was console, so hopefully PC won't be too different. So yeah, let's get started. Welcome to Alliance Military oh, okay. Database. Classified information requested. Okay. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I'll go with a new one. Um, <laughs> Please log in to access John, your um, Okay. Just thought I'd make a new character. Don't want to be, you know, <clears throat> average. Warning. Data corruption detected. Oh no. Is this supposed to happen? Oh no. Please reconstruct profile. Yes. Okay. Confirm pre service history. <laughs> Although your parents were in the Alliance military, your children. Childhood was spent on ships and. Uh, Oh, I forgot which one is the... Mass Effect 3 has an easter egg where your mom can call you. I'm trying to figure out which one is the one. <laughs> uh... Uh... Um... I'll check it out. One second. So it was the spacer... Uh background history so I think I'll go with that one confirm psychological profile uh, I do not remember this hold on um Um, um, um. I'm gonna go with the war hero. I don't really like the soul survivor kind of Confirm thing. Confirm military uh, specialization. <laughs> oh man, I forgot which one. This is the cool one. I mean, in the second game, I'm most likely going to change, but I think we'll go with... Mm, I want to say soldier, because I'm more of a fighty person with guns and not powers, but I think we'll go with sentinel. Well, Hmm. Yeah, we'll go Santa now. Confirm facial identification. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's change that. Oh, hello. Psycho presets. That's not too bad. Let's. <laughs> uh, Oh, it's something I don't feel. Okay, let's get this one. That's kind of scary. I'm not really into scars, so it's not. Okay. This is 
is fine. I'm gonna make a little smaller than that. Okay. I don't think that changed anything drastic. My first Mass Effect character, <laughs> uh, the cheekbones were so in, it was hilarious. So, that's when I did my character from scratch, because I thought I could. Well, since you can't, like, turn your character. You can't really see, you know. Is there anything like neutral? This is all kind of crappy. No, this one's okay. Doesn't change anything. I think my eyes were blue last time. So I think I'll stick. With that, yeah. Can't really see from the side, so you just gonna have to like guess what your character looks like while he's moving and stuff like that. I think this is okay for now. Um. <laughs> um. This is fine. Yeah, beard. I don't think I like any. This one is okay. I can't. Is that even a beard? Yeah, that was. What the heck? Okay. Uh, you can barely see it. This is fine. Yeah. Profile reconstruction complete. So we are named Batman Shepard. Our background history is a spacer, and our reputation is a war hero, and we are a sentinel. I think that's pretty okay for now. So let's get started. Yes. Identification confirmed. Yes. Ugh. I mean, I know I've played the game before, but I'm not used to... I played this on the console the first time, so I think we'll just leave it at normal. I'll just leave everything and subtitles on. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, I miss Mass Effect. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call.
He's so beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to really talk to him in the kitchen. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. I forgot who he is. gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah. I'm on my way. Oh. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Oh. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. True. Okay, so I think we're going for mostly Paragon Run. But we'll put people in their place when need be. We're getting trapped. I grew up on Eden Prime Dog. Kinda forgot where to go. Uh, There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Here, I think. I, yeah, okay. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. Okay. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Um. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Oh. Uh. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. <laughs> It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, Why isn't his too mouth unpredictable, moving? too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Plus, moving. we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. 
humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Didn't even come through. Dialogue. Bring it up on screen. Just subtitles. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. How did he know that? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Aging stealth systems. Cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. Somebody was doing some serious game. digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. Well... The beacon's your top priority. Okay. Approaching drop point one. That's kind of rude. You coming with us? 
I move faster on my own. Dick. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay, let's... It looked to me the quality was kind of low. I mean, I have it at medium quality, but um, the game looks so pixelated. I, I think if I put it to high, that'll fix things. I'm not entirely sure. So let's go. Okay, I just threw a bunch of grenades for no reason. Uh, I don't really know how to... Okay, I'm, so, I'm getting the hang of it, kind of. Okay, R is not reload. What is... What is reload? <laughs> So where am I supposed to go? This way, I think. Yes. Okay. Okay, how do I aim? What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, yes. I will have to do that later. Oh, I have five points. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, right, that guy died. I'm gonna give you first aid. So I can... You're a sentinel too. <gasps> cool. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Dude, I really. Don't... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. My eyes. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Good man. <laughs> okay. That's where we go right now. Sure, 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 sure. Way. That's an end. end. <laughs> oh, I love these guns. Dude, what? What do I? <laughs> okay, how do I aim? First off. What? No. No, that's a map. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the What is Enemy contact? Ow. Damn these weapons suck, but If I could aim, that'd be freaking great. Alright, <laughs> there's no reloading in this game. Oh yeah, there is. 
I will most likely use my pistol every goddamn time. Clear. Cause it's the only thing with a sight. Kind of sight. Oh goodness! Oh good, good, good. Run, bitch, run. Save her. What's your name, girl? Ashley Williams? Alright. Oh, jeez. That's a bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, you take a map. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. No problem. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. <sighs> Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out. Uh... Oh, I can take them all. Psh. What? What do you want me to do? Uh, I don't know what you want me to do, so I'm just gonna not do anything. Yeah, okay. So, this part's pretty long, so I'm just gonna stop it here. Uh, yeah. We have Ashley Williams now. So that's cool. So, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.